Hello Amir. Okay, so this is the update on your harness. Uh, obviously originally we did remove the immobilizer from the system. Uh, as yours is a GS430 and it communicates uh, the exact same way as an IS200, IS300. So we've just added in all the wires for the immobilizer side. We've reprogrammed your ECU to your key that you supplied. Well, not your entire key, obviously just the, the physical buttons on the inside. That's where your ceramic chip is. Okay. Uh, so, you'll see now your security light is flashing on the dash. Obviously, this is what it would do in your vehicle. So, what I'm going to do is I've got your buttons over here. I'm going to leave them to the side. And then I'm going to show you that when I insert the key, you'll hear the relay click for it to turn on. So, I'm just going to insert the key in there. I'm going to put the ignition on. And you'll see the security light is flashing. And we're going to try to start the engine. We get nothing, take the key out, still the security light is flashing. Okay, so now I'm going to take your buttons or of your keys. So there they are. Right, now, the way the immobilized system works, just so that you guys are aware, is that effectively the, when I put this into the key barrel, there's a wire that goes to the ECU that tells it to turn on the plus B circuit. That's why you hear the relay clicking the second I insert the key. That's then activating the plus B circuit and that is what powers up the antenna in order to read the key for the ECU to recognize the key and make the security light go away. So what you're going to notice is I'm not even going to turn the ignition on. As soon as I insert the key, you're going to see that security light goes off. So one, two, three. And there you go. So the security light has gone off. So I haven't turned the key. I've not moved it to ignition or accessory or anything. I've literally just inserted the key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again. And you're actually going to hear the relay clicking. You can hear it click off and click on. Okay. So when you have an immobilizer on your eyes, 200 eyes, 300 or whatever, you should effectively see that security light go off the second you insert the key. You don't need to turn the ignition on. You don't need to do anything. It goes off. Now, what's important is there's two types of keys. When you're coding keys on these Toyota ECUs, you have a valet key or a master key. The valet key is designed because you can't, even if you have a TechStream device, you can't code a new key to the car with the valet key. So if you lose all of your keys and you've only got your valet key, you can no longer then just easily use TechStream to program another key. You've got to virginize the ECU or transfer the hexadecimal code over of an existing key so you can get it to become a master key. Okay, so how to tell if you've got a valet key, you effectively, when you put the key in the ignition, that light will actually go on solid for a few seconds and then it will turn off. On a master key, you'll see that the light turns off straight away. So I'm going to one, two, three. See, so the light goes off immediately. Valet key stays on solid for a few seconds. Master key goes out immediately. So that's a nice, quick, easy way to tell what key you've got. Now, there is a bit of confusion with guys thinking that you need to change a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, if you want to, if you want to. So let's say you lose your key or you, your buttons or whatever and so on and you want to replace your ECU. You don't need to replace the antenna or this. This is generic. It's the same part number. You can use it for whatever. It's just a tool. It's just there purely to read the key. What's important is what's inside these buttons. If you undo these two screws, you're going to find there's a ceramic chip inside there. That's what the antenna is reading. That's what it's energizing and reading in the code. It's communicating that code to the ECU. The ECU is then saying everything is okay. And obviously it's turning off the security light you see flashing there. So if you want to be, whether it's IS200 or whatever, all you need is what is these buttons inside here and the ECU. That's literally it. This antenna is just a tool. It'll work on any car. It'll read any key. It, it's in, it only job is to transmit the data to that. So it's not, this is not coded to the ECU or whatever. It's just really, really straightforward. But back to that. So obviously we've got the security light on there. Insert the key with your buttons in. Ignition on. Okay, so there you go. So, immobilizer is active, it is working. She will not start if your keys are not there. This is obviously a master key, is your key. So, you can use TechStream or whatever to code however many keys you want to it. You can code either a valet key or a, um, a master key to it. Uh, so, yeah, that's all done for you. And we have put uh, the pops and bangs, pops and bangs map on for you as well. So that's all done. All right. So 
all finished. We will get this in the box and we'll get it sent off to you. All right, but thanks for watching everybody else. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below or message us on our Facebook page and someone will get back to you as soon as it's humanly possible. But thanks for watching guys and we'll see you again later. Bye-bye.